Jason, I'm just kind of show you how to check an EPR valve. So, basically I got my low side hooked up to my circuit right there. Then I have my high side gauge hooked up to my suction header for all the racks, for the entire rack. All the circuits on this suction header. And basically, whatever we read on this circuit, on the blue gauge, should read the same as the suction pressure, the suction header. If the EPR valve is 100% open, they should be reading the same pressure, basically. So, as you can see, I'm about 10 PSI here, and I'm about 10 PSI there. And basically another thing is, your transducer, because you can check that here at the rack, about 7 PSI. And that's pretty much about what you're reading here. That tells you your EPR is 100% open. So if I close this EPR, my suction pressure should rise. Same thing as if I close the, the ball valve. The suction pressure right here should go higher than our rack suction set point or suction pressure. So that's pretty much how you check the EPR.